Question number 3 says that find the value of each of the following bits. But before we get on to solving the given bits, let's revise few of the laws of exponents. We start with a raised to m times a raised to n. That is, we've got same bases and multiplication. The values of the bases is same. So the powers get added and we write it as a raised to m plus n. Then we have a raised to m divided by a raised to n. We've got same bases and they are in division, so the powers get subtracted. Then we have a raised to m whole raised to n. In here, the powers will get multiplied, so the answer will be a raised to m times n. Then we have a raised to negative m. That is, the base is raised to a negative power. So to make the power positive, we can write it as a raised to m. Then we have a raised to 0, that is anything which is raised to 0, be it negative, positive, a larger number or a smaller number, the answer will always be 1. So now let's get on to solving each of the given bits. We start with the first one which says 3 raised to 0 plus 4 raised to negative 1 times 2 raised to 2, that is 2 square. So 3 raised to 0 can be written as 1. And 4 raised to negative 1 can be written as 1 over 4. And we times it with 2 square which is 4. So we get it as 5 over 4 times 4. 4 and 4 gets cancelled and we get the answer as 5. Let's get on to the second bit which is 2 raised to negative 1 times 4 raised to negative 1 divided by 2 raised to negative 2. So what we get is 1 over 2 because the power was negative times 1 over 4 divided by 2 raised to negative 2. So we get that as 1 over 8 divided by 2 raised to negative 2 can be written as 1 over 2 square which is nothing but 1 over 4. So we get this as 1 over 8 times 4 over 1, which gives us the answer as 1 over 2. Now let's get on to the third bit. The third bit says we have 1 over 2 whole raised to negative 2 plus 1 over 3 whole raised to negative 2 plus 1 over 4 whole raised to negative so in this case, we see that we have fractions who are raised to a negative power. So to get the powers positive, we can flip the fractions inside the brackets and we can then write it as 2 raised to 2 plus 3 raised to 2 plus 4 raised to 2. So that will give us 4 plus 9 plus 16, which equals 29. And this is the answer for the third bit. Now let's get on to the fourth bit, which says 3 raised to negative 1 plus 4 raised to negative 1 plus 5 raised to negative 1. And this whole has been raised to 0. So the trick here is, whatever we simplify and get finally will be raised to 0. And as we had already learned that anything raised to 0 is 1, so we can directly write the answer as 1. Now let's get on to the last bit which is the fifth bit. So fifth bit is negative 2 over 3 whole raised to negative 2 is raised to 2. So we can write this as negative 2 over 3 whole raised to the powers will get multiplied as we had learnt in the third law which was discussed that is a raised to m whole raised to n can be written as a raised to m n that is the powers get multiplied. So negative 2 times 2 gives us negative 4. Now to make the pos power positive we know that we can flip the fraction. So on flipping we get negative 3 over 2 whole raised to 4. So that is we are multiplying negative 3 over 2 4 times. So on multiplying it 4 times we get the answer as 81 
over 16 which is the answer for the fifth bit and this is how we solve this question to know more about how qmath can help you become a master of math explore qmath leap a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers